celebration of true Elise Navidad fashion, we have our December Universal Yums box. And I'm super excited for this one, as I am with all of them, because this one, not only, look, it's green instead of the usual blue, but these snacks come from everywhere. So what they do with Universal Yums and their holiday boxes is that they select specific snacks from all over the world, but that are typically used for holiday celebrations. And last year's box was probably my favorite out of the entire years. I really enjoyed it. Um, I actually had like a little emotional moment over the inclusion of an alpha whore in the, the box, but I don't know what we've got in store this month. So I am just gonna jump right into it. And I, I think I'm gonna test something out we're gonna try to do like a slightly shorter video than I usually do, uh, simply because I feel like I've been spending a lot of time on not a lot of stuff. So I wanna kinda go through this, see what we've got inside, do a quick taste test, and then see how we go. So keep that in mind. All right, so I'm gonna open this thing up and, oh wow, okay. Um, we have a lovely little map with, I guess this is like different locations that some of our snacks are coming from. And obviously the little taste test. Oh, 2018 recap. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yay. So this year we had boxes. We started out in Greece, then France, Poland, Spain, the Philippines, Brazil, Taiwan, the UK, Thailand, Russia, and last month was the Netherlands. Unfortunately, the Netherlands box came in while uh, I was on vacation but I brought it into work and we ate it there. And it was really good. I so, didn't get any of it. Okay, so I think this might be some of the same ones that we had last year, but I am starting out with these. These are uh, gingerbread with mint flavored icing and they appear to be Polish. Hang on, I gotta get the, I gotta get the booklet ready. The, the difference between doing this one and doing the, uh, the Japan crate video is that these are from all the heck over the place and I have to sort through the pages. But yeah, so this is a Polish uh, Pierniki Uzatski, a gingerbread with a mint icing. We also have uh, right on the top, this must be, I think this is Italian. This is a Pandora with chocolate cream. So yes, this is an Italian Paselli Pandora chocolate cream. It's a chocolate cream filled pastry cake. That sounds really good, actually. We have a giant bag of garlic potato chips. Did we have these last year, Karen? Oh, uh, where are they from? They are Czech. Apparently these are included because locals uh, appear to be quite superstitious about an, uh, the Christmas dinner meal and they place garlic under the table to provide strength throughout the year. Oh, I think we did have them last year. Oh, okay, so this is, um, this is- Is that an exclusive? Okay, I don't think it's necessarily an exclusive, but this is from the same popcorn company that worked with us for the Thai, with uh, Universal Yums for the Taiwan box. This is sweet egg yolk popcorn. We gotta try that. Yeah. That's gotta go to trial because that sounds uh, really Salty corn, cr I'll read this when we get there, but that's gonna be neat. Whoa, what are these? Okay, so this is, these are Spanish. These are raspberry flavored potato chips. Okay, because they put raspberries into champagne glasses to toast on New Year's. Should that go in the trial too? That might you know go in the trial. You are a potato chip. I am a potato chip out. connoisseur. Um, let's see, we've also got, this is a jumbo raspberry hamantaschen from the United States. Um, okay, so this is a, this is a Jewish pastry. Uh, so this is uh, apparently, apparently these are for Purim, which is in March, but I'm not sure why they're in, they're in this box, but they're here. So that's okay. It is, it is a holiday treat. Yeah, it is. It's true. Because it the is, holiday isn't the same time. That's a good point. So this is from the Netherlands. These are Gouda and Edam cheese crackers. And I am going to go to town on these guys. Just saying. We've also got mince pie flavored fudge from the UK. I believe we actually had this brand during the UK box and it was, oh yes, because they're the ones that did the coconut ice, which was yes. delicious. But it was not, oh right, mince pie doesn't have any meat in it. 
Yeah. I always forget that mint meat and beef okay. mints are not the I same I remember this from last year as well. This is a a uh, hot chocolate bar from Peru. So basically you add this to milk, melt it down, and it makes hot chocolate. And we tried this and I remember it being super tasty. So it's got cinnamon and clove in it. And I like that. What are these little guys? These are, okay, this is a Spanish confection. This is a chocolate nougat with crisped rice. Okay, that's kind of neat. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, please be in here. Please be in here. I have to find. Yes. We have some Jordanian mixed baklava. And this was super tasty. We had this in last year's box as well. Loved this. I love baklava though. So. Baklava is really good. All right. So we also have from South Korea, we have a prickly pear flavored rice candy. It's a yugua candy. It's called interesting oh, it's really tough to pick what we're gonna try yes okay so these uh i remember these from last year's box as well these date back to the year 918. it was a different flavor it, it was, was a sli it was a different flavor last year yeah, but it's the same uh, yeah we also have from the czech republic um oh boy this is i we might have to try these instead these are mustard flavored potato chips. Uh -uh, I don't want to do it. do it. Okay, this is a German treat. This is here is a marzipan, chocolate covered marzipan bar. Oh! I love marzipan. I think you so. can get those at World Market. Oh, I love World Market too. From China, we actually have candied pecan flavored sunflower seeds. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so that's, that's a Chinese New Year specific treat. We have more Jordanian treats. These are toasted sesame seed cookies. Very cool. But we have marzipan candy potatoes from Germany. Um, I told you German Christmas was all about marzipan. Might have to eat these because I love marzipan and I love potatoes. We have in the yum bag. Are we, we have, done, are we done with everything except for what's in the yum bag? Yes, we are done with everything except for what's in the yum bag. We have almond delights from Spain. We also have a pink champagne candy from the UK. And there is crunchy sesame lucky New Year's candy from China. So that's pretty cool. We have an awesome spread this month. I will pick, I think I'm gonna pick about three items to go through and we'll see how they go, because I think some of them are gonna be a little weird. We'll be right back. Okay, so we have picked three things to try. All right, so the first thing we're gonna try is going to be the chocolate cream cake, because it looks, oh, contain may contain traces of hazelnuts. I do love chocolate hazelnut. I like more than traces of hazelnut, though. That is true. Woo! Oh, it's so soft. Ooh. That's, there's no cream in this bottom part. Ooh. I'm gonna just dig till you get cream, I guess. Whoa. It kind of looks like a... It is very rich. I'm sorry I'm talking with my mouth full. Oh, it smells so good. It is quite tasty. Like... It's a little breadier than a pound. I haven't taken a bite yet. Mm -hmm. It's a little breadier than a pound cake. And a little I like it than a, donut. a lot better than a lot of like American snack cakes because I do not care for those. I've discovered. But this is dense, chewy, rich, chocolatey, really good. This is phenomenal. Mm. I'm taking a second bite because I know she's gonna finish it. I'd eat that on a flip flop. I'm channeling my inner Guy Fieri here. Uh, yeah, really good. Next up, we have the sweet egg yolk popcorn, which I am a little nervous about. I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm not because it's a little bizarre. I but, like when we get these boxes that we try at least one thing that's just really out there and different from what I would normally pick. I'll need scissors. No. That's it, right. I was thinking it might be like noggy because it's like sweet egg. This is weird. I actually need to like decipher this a bit more because it is a very interesting flavor. It's it's salty and sweet. Buttery? 
Yes. Almost, it smells a lot like movie theater popcorn with something else. Like it melts in your mouth and it, it's like, it definitely tastes a little bit like weird egg, but it's strangely addicting. Karen hates it. It's like movie theater popcorn and then like weird egg and there is like a little hint of sweetness and then there's like some kind of other- Corn! It's corn. Like actual corn. There's like some kind of other like uh, spice or herb or flavoring on this. It's so weird! I really like this. It's this. Okay, this is funny to me because in the Taiwan box we had the black tea flavored popcorn. Yeah, I really like that. I didn't like at all, and Karen loved. I love this. Karen's not a fan. Oh, that was that was truly weird. Speaking of truly weird, here come these Spanish raspberry potato chips. If I can get them open. Whoa, this is weird. It's like lined with like gold. This is weird. Oh. I don't taste any raspberry. They smell a little sweet. To and me, like a kettle cooked sort of. To me, it just tastes like a regular old potato chip. Nothing special. Wait. The aftertaste is raspberry. That's really strange, guys. Yeah, there is. There is a there. There's a very strange after sweetness. Would you like to have a clue for next month's box? I would like to have a clue for next month's box. The perfect place to ring in the new year? A country with castles and cabbage and lots of good beer. There will be unusual chocolate and a lucky coin suite. So say hello 2019 and get ready to eat. I think we're going to Ireland, y'all. I think that's going to be all for this month's Universal Yums box. If you guys are interested in trying Universal Yums for yourself, I do have a referral link in the description. If you click that, I don't know exactly what it does, but it helps the both of us. Question of the day. How are you going to be spending your new year? Let me know down below. If you'd like to see more from this channel, especially the Elise Navidad videos, I'm going to put an entire playlist at the end of this video. If you'd like to keep in touch with me, my social media links are in the description below. If you'd like to stay in touch with the channel, hit that little subscribe button, click the little bell. If you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Later!